Tonight, exclusive video obtained by Fox 13 News showing a tense rescue taking place last night in the Wasatch Mountains from the Utah Department of Public Safety's Aero Bureau. Well, Amy, here's some of that remarkable video. The rescue itself took less than an hour with daylight fading and conditions declining. Rescuers had to get from the sky and move really fast to try and get a stranded backcountry skier hoisted up and out to safety. Take a look. So I think if we can put me between those two, uh, like just right down in the middle of those trees, between those two live trees so I can get to one of them. Surveying the steep and rugged terrain along Thunder Ridge and the Wasatch from the DPS Star 9 helicopter. Here, the hoist operator worked in conjunction with the pilot to get a rescuer on the ground down to the skier who is clinging to an extremely steep chute near the popular couloir known as the Needle. So once on the ground, the tactical flight officer worked to secure himself to that area, but there was still a sheer drop off between he and the stranded skier. Here's the plan. I've got this vest. They're going to come back, pick me up, clear my anchors, and then they're going to come and put me down behind you. Well, as the sun went down, the plan changed slightly from that. The video shows the rescuer was lifted down to the skier. Both of them were hoisted out. According to Salt Lake County's Sheriff's Office Search and Rescue, the skier was touring solo, called for help with his cell phone. He was showing signs of hypothermia. His condition tonight is unknown, but most importantly, he is safe and out of the backcountry after that ordeal.